With the new update that Bungie just released this week, grenade launchers and rocket launchers both got buffs depending on the frames and ammo economy. So what I want to do is kind of break down bait and switch, envious assassin, and all the changes that Bungie made this week to our DPS weapon. This video is not to prove anyone wrong. This is not to say one is better than the other. This is just to show how easy it is to do damage in Destiny 2. I hear these horror stories on LFG and simply I just want to help people understand how to DPS a lot easier instead of doing crazy swaps like you think you need to do you don't need to do stuff like this where you're on a warlock and do strand and do crazy swaps like triple swapping bait and switch rockets so what i want to explain here is that i have this cool chart that hypes made from my community him and his clan mates do a lot of testing and this chart is simply to show you grenade launcher dps base damage buff damage radiant with all the juice 30 percent debuff also we're going to be breaking down rockets showing you all super damages so you can kind of see what base damage the supers are doing and also hoss health some people want to know how much health a boss has in each raid encounter so we broke that down as well and one thing i'm very proud of is the buff debuff info some people might not know that banner shield does 40 percent buff to your weapons when shooting through or knowing that radiant is 25 percent just like well or weakening is 15 percent so the chart here is pretty much for the community to enjoy and to have all this info the link to this document will be down in the bio so please enjoy it so first let's talk about rocket dps everyone knows that sometimes in dungeons and raids you guys have to understand that galley buffs sometimes those wolf pack rounds can track the things and you can definitely miss out on some dps now that galahorn can hold 12 rockets with the new changes with reserves it's kind of nice and everyone's like oh this is nice but everyone can put on a galley and five rockets or maybe throw on a tractor cannon and sometimes people fall behind in damage because i think people try too hard to fade and switch people like bungie doesn't make it very easy for us above our super bar we can only see like four lines of text so you might not be able to see your bait and switch timer mess up your swaps and everyone thinks that you have to run apex because it's the best rocket launcher that i see in videos now this is a warlock doing strand swaps with bait and switch absolutely terrorizing here doing solo damage on the ogre and doing around 3.5 million damage can you run something else to do the same amount of damage if not more and the answer is yes on my titan i ran a burning maul hyrogale with three times roaring flames to buff my super 70 percent and going into dps I shot my Wither Horde just like the Warlock would. My energy weapon to get ready to proc that bait and switch. Hit my super and go to town with the Cataphract bait and switch grenade launcher. Now, I don't have Envious Assassin. If I did, I would be able to unload 18 shots or more. You can actually get more than 18 in one barrel if you hold like mini frags on your grenade launcher or you put on backup mag, but stuff like that is just not needed. So if you did have Envious Assassin, you would have 18 shots and you can get all 18 off before the bait and switch ends. So just in this clip, I didn't have that i had demolitionist so i did six through a nade to reload six when i reloaded i knew that i went through two ammo cartridges and i knew that bait and switch was going to run out so i reprocked it and i ended up doing 3.4 million damage just by myself so can a hunter do that of course hunter's good this season you got blade barrage you got nighthawk you have arc my clan mate here put on a arc hunter he has envious bait and switch on his cataphract and he put down 3.6 million on a grenade launcher now remember you don't need the galley buff when you're using grenade launchers so in a day one scenario in the raid you could run a tether for your debuff and have six people on grenade launchers the reason why i think grenade launchers are really good now is because you now have this ammo economy cataphract has 29 but ron gl was surrounded that everyone's loves using that one has 35 it's a rapid frame so it's doing a little bit less damage but it's still really good so i want to pull up some grenade launcher damage here on the chart so we're looking at wendigo that's kind of the og one if you see here it has 28 shots but it's really hard to get 28 shots buffed by explosive light you would need a lot of orbs so we wanted to break down on the chart here that if you only went into damage with six buff and the other 22 were not you're going to do about 2 million total damage but if you're somehow able to go into damage with six explosive light and then grab another six orbs from your teammates which is definitely doable you're going to do 2.2 million damage so it kind of ramps up a little bit is wendigo good of course it is because you compare it with cloud strike i can show you in this clip right here it's actually really good for swapping but it is not one of the top dps but it's still good remember everything that i'm talking about here it, it doesn't matter about having the best loadout on it's making sure timmy and your fire team doesn't do a million damage when he can do three million that's the whole purpose making sure everybody understands how dps works with these weapons so i'm going to scroll down here and maybe pull out the regnant the regnant is a crafted gl that you can get explosive light enhanced on there which means you can go into damage with times seven explosive light than six same thing here if you did 14 buffed and 14 non-buffed you'd be at 2.3 mil kind of not seeing 
it there because it's really hard to pick up those orbs. Some people would agree to disagree. So let's go down to the cataphract. This is where it gets insane. The cataphract here with spike nades, with the full juicy roll, bait and switch, you're gonna do 2.385 million damage. If you didn't have spike nades, you would be around 2.359, but that number's gonna be a little lower. I think you're gonna be around 2.3 mil. So let's just say you're gonna do about 100K less than you would with spike. So it's okay that it, you have spike and it's okay that if you don't. So let's talk about the Caraxes. We tested surrounded. So 35 shots of surrounded Caraxes with spike nades is going to do 2.6 million, but you have to shoot 35 shots. You have to dump all those. You might not have time to do all those in a DPS phase. So you're going to get a little bit more damage. We went over and saw what a grenade launcher can do. So let me show you some clips in the background of what we can do with a rocket launcher. Let's show you these rocket breakdown. This is going to be holy juice. This is going to be surges. This is going to be 30% debuff and Gatlahorn. So with Crux surrounded, everyone knows that role. They're farming for it. If you had surrounded, you would do 2.6 million. If you got the rocket dump, all 10 shots, even if you did explosive light, you'd still be around 2.4, which is pretty damn good. Like it's not even a world drop yet. I don't really think it's I think surrounded is situational, so kind of just wanted to point that out. Apex Predator, everyone knows this. With bait and switch, remember you have you only have nine rockets. You have to shoot one to proc bait and switch, and it's gonna put you around 2.1 million. If you were to choose explosive light, which I think is really good, it's going to be 2.2 million. Remember, you're gonna have all nine buffed by the 25% explosive light. So you don't have to waste one rocket. I think Apex Predator with explosive light reconstruction and pack casing is going to be a fan favorite, but I just wanted to show you that it can do it and with that it's easy it, you just literally shoot shoot twice switch to izanagi or wither horde go back to it shoot go back to it shoot you can just keep swapping with it or do an izanagi clip here i actually have a clip here with izanagi swapping with explosive light you could do some crazy damage with it palmyra this thing we haven't used since vow and it kind of impresses me that if you shoot all 12 shots it does 2.5 million just with 12 rocket spamming we have a clip here of it just enhanced explosive light and impulse casing and you're just ripping all 12 it's easy to do good damage by just shooting rockets over and over and over now let's say you don't get all 12 buffed as you see here we did a chart where it was nine buffed and three not you're still doing 2.4 which is pretty insane old comfort everyone fan favorite with this everyone was farming it with ghost of the deep coming out this thing's insane because it has bait and switch and it has envious assassin and it has the intrinsic perk also 10 rockets so if you were to mag dump every single bait and switch rocket you would be around 2.3 million as well but let's look up there and see that explosive light explosive light if you have all 10 buff which would be kind of hard because you'd have to pick up four orbs so you would hit around 2.4 million almost 2.4 Five. I'm kind of impressed with that. And then we have the new Semiotician Strand Rocket Launcher. We have a clip here of just spamming all 12 shots. All 12 were buffed with explosive light. 2.6 million is absolutely insane. I know that was a lot of yapping. And I know you might think, hey, this chart's wrong. I shot a lost sector boss. It didn't do the same damage. Again, we tested it in a dungeon. Wanted to make sure that it was all done on the same boss. Also, please check out the supers, the breakdown, the buffs and the debuffs so you can see what tractor is, weekend, target lock, uh, surrounded. All this good stuff is all here for your eyes. Overall, I think I'm going to start moving out of the rocket DPS and going into the grenade launcher. Yes, I told everyone the cataphract was copium, but now we were all worried that Envious Assassin was going to get nerfed, but it didn't. They just changed it so now that grenade launchers have 29 shots, it didn't give you 25. They wanted to just make sure it stayed at 18. So I think for ammo economy and the fact that I can just do high DPS like this with spamming Wither Horde bait and switch, I'm going to pull that clip up again just the wither horde the bait and switch the grenade launcher and still putting up rocket launcher damage and i don't need to worry about my teammate running gallahorn i think it's going to be a better play so please start focusing not just on rockets if you like just spamming palmyra and you want to shoot 12 shots you do that no one's going to tell you you're doing anything wrong if you want to stay on machine guns stay on machine guns there's nothing wrong with that but i think everyone should start focusing on grenade launchers maybe get some crafted rolls maybe go play trials if you don't want to play trials you're like Clyde. i don't want to grind that weapon bungie might add one in final shape they might give you a bait and switch with grenade launcher with envious but we have no clue you don't need envious by the way i have a demolitionist roll and it's fine you can still throw a nade and reload that bait and switch is only going to last for your first mag and then you reload in your second mag and you have to reproc it anyway so it's not a big deal to reload on an envious you can dump all 18 with one bait and switch rotation so it is kind of nice less reload but still you're doing the same amount of damage and i just wanted to point this out hopefully you reading this kind of just gives you an insight on game however the way you want but 
maybe understand how DPS works, test yourself, go run your own tests, try different weapons, see what works best for you. And um, yeah, start baking those raid bosses. I wanted to put a lot of time into this video and kind of give you guys some insight on what has changed with this new update and hopefully this helps. See you guys on the next one.